India. A land that overwhelms the senses. <laughs> I really want this to be a big, colorful adventure. With warm weather all year round. Oh, hot seat, hot seat. And a low cost of living. How much is that? 800. No, 70. Could this be the perfect place to retire? At my age, I should know what I want to do or where I want to go. Incredible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Inspired by the famous film... Good morning, my chickapoos! <laughs> eight well-known faces... I look irresistible. ...are spending a month in India exploring the possibility of retirement. Complete culture shock, yet beautiful. Get yourself out here and pass me test. Good heavens! They'll be living on the east coast in Puducherry. My first swim in India. And in the foothills of the Himalayas. <laughs> to discover <laughs> if they could spend their golden years here. But will the challenges of India prove a step too far? John, does this look like first class or even business? <laughs> No. Or could this fascinating country Beautiful. become their new home? <laughs> India's extraordinary. I haven't been anywhere else in the world like it. It is a kaleidoscope of the whole of life. The senior citizens have been living on the coast in southern India for the last few weeks. It's very good coffee they make here. But today they're saying goodbye to Puducherry. Right. Clean my teeth. And then everything's ready to go. In search of a very different retirement experience. Good morning. They're heading to Rishikesh in the foothills of the Himalayas where they'll spend their final week in India. Looking forward to a whole new horizon, different scenery, different vegetation, different birds. <laughs> Looking forward to the cool of the mountains. Yes, why not? Yeah, I wonder what else is up there, though. No, I like it here. No, you can't stay here. No? No, no, no. you can pout as much as you like. You know. I love it here. It is nice, it is nice, but it could be even nicer where we're going. Who knows? I was very apprehensive when I arrived, but now I go with the flow. If you adapt the Puducherry way of life, it's wonderful. Oh, dear. Good morning, you beautiful people. But there are some problems. When you go to India, the heat absolutely destroys your hair, because I'm so vain. Hair is very important. Hair and good teeth. Mm. But is it cold where we're going or is it normal? I, I just want to know the temperature. Mm. Sort of 30, 31 was yes, a, 30 the right. sort of thing in the day, oh. as opposed to 40, 45. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm going to start packing, guys. Got to pack the cases. It'll only take you two seconds. Well, You've only worn two things since you came here. Me? <laughs> I've worn about yeah. six or seven different shirts. They all look exactly the same. Right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. The old French quarter where we're staying is very, very obviously French. They're croissants, you know, it's a beautiful seaside town. But it's nothing like anything you'd find back at home, like Bournemouth, for instance. Having said that, I always thought adventurous is good, so I'm, I'm looking forward to going to Northern India. Oh, God. I always overpack more socks. Oh. When I'm travelling, I always take with me Bond photos because it's very handy when you go through custom. In case there's a problem, you can always uh, have a Bond photo laying around. It's quite privileged to be a Bond girl. It's like a, an international club. 
Et voilà. I'm thrilled and grateful uh, to be Bond Girl. It's the greatest gift my profession has given me. Before heading to the airport, the group are saying goodbye to everyone and their host, Karkali. This. Anytime. Yeah, our house is absolutely open for you. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. It was perfect. And you can't be perfection, can you? It's been a wonderful stay. Thank you. <laughs> wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Girl. Oh, that's so nice of Brid. That's so sweet of her. <laughs> so that must have been, what, 50 years ago? Was it? Yeah. Maybe 27, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, off we go. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. It's a voyage of discovery at every stage, isn't it, this? <laughs> Goodbye, Pondicherry. I will return. The group are travelling to Chennai Airport to fly 1,500 miles north to the state of Uttarakhand, where they will take a bus to the holy city of Rishikesh. Situated in the foothills of the Himalayas, the vast river Ganges flows through the city, often referred to as the birthplace of yoga. It's a popular destination for religious pilgrims and those seeking a cooler climate. Oh, here we are. Where, darling? Oh, here, right here. Hello. Oh. oh fine. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Sudanshu. Oh, nice yeah, Look at this. No sun. Thank you, thank you. You take the whole back seat. How long is it going to take? Which we take bets? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see 8 o'clock. <laughs> so it's 7.30, I think. Five rupees. <laughs> hey, look, you can see them. The foothills of the Himalayas, straight in the mist. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm heading into them, there are hills. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's a 22-mile journey from the airport to their new home in the hills on the outskirts of Rishikesh. Really is such a contrast to where we've been. Same country, massively different. Oh, there's a monkey on the road. Monkey coming up. There he is. I'm not right. fond of monkeys. <laughs> The only way for the senior citizens to reach their destination is up a narrow mountain pass called the Nilkanth Temple Road. Oh! 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 Road rage in India should be a prevalent disease. It should be an epidemic because the driving is so terrifying. Overtaking on a van. Unbelievable. Oh, let's not start because... <laughs> then I'll throw up. Hooray! They're missing death by inches, but they have a sublime faith in something and it doesn't work. Have you seen how far down it is? You're yeah. not going to look? Yeah, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that scooter. This is quite a frightening road. I don't, I, I don't like this ride at all. <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. One barrier, that's no good, is it? <laughs> and these poles aren't going to do a lot of this. That is higher than ever. Oh, my God, there's nothing there. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, I can't take any more. I feel sick. Just drive slowly, please, please. That's enough hairpin bench for one day, Britt. Oh, I, I just can't take any more. After 11 hours of travelling, the group have finally arrived at their new home. Bless you, I'm Bless John. You. Hi, Pradeep. Nice to meet you. Welcome Thank thanks. you very much indeed. Welcome to Shandam. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Barbara. Isn't that lovely? I didn't lovely. think it'd be possible to improve you, darling. Welcome to Shandam Resort. This 15-bedroom hotel called Shantam will be a stepping stone for the group to explore life in northern India. Oh, fantastic. Look at this. Hello, neighbour. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, we are sideways. Oh. Do you like them not too hard, not too soft? Mm, mm, mm. Nice, nice mattress. You happy with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Let me feel. Mm. Because I sleep actually like this. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to have a king size bed wherever mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. It's uh, great. We, and we could fit quite a few of us in here. 
<laughs> yes. You know we could I mean? have half, half the group in here. Yeah. Oh, dear. I can't wait for the next five days to see what's going to happen. I think it's going to be so exciting. They may only be the foothills, but they look enormous to me. <laughs> Although I know they aren't the Himalayas proper. But I think it's, it's, it's great, and every prospect pleases it. I really do. See you all in the morning. Yes, no, no, John. Sleep well. Eight o'clock in the morning, and the group are up early. If you see any monkeys around, hang on tight to your handbags. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> and, and hats. <laughs> Absolutely magnificent, isn't it? Are you going to give us a rendition of Climb Every Mountain here, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Rishikesh is famed for offering its visitors a spiritual experience. Good morning. Happy morning. <laughs> so today, the senior citizens are getting their first taste of group meditation. Good morning. Honored to welcome Good to the see lovely you. people. Beautiful Thank morning. You. We are here today. We are going to do meditation to calm the mind and connect with our consciousness. Amrit Raj is a local Ayurvedic doctor who runs meditative yoga classes thought to reduce fatigue and relieve stress. How are you feeling today morning? Tired. You're all a bit tired. <laughs> Not good, aching, headache, bad back. After this session, you will have more peace, more bliss, more joy. Take a deep breath. Inhale the lovely smile. We will start with the cosmic <gasps> sound Om. So I request you to inhale love. We have spray more love and more happiness in the air. Just feel the energy. I'm a very impatient person. With your permission, ma'am, just place it on your third eye. And I think, try to be more zen-like. Try not to stress. Take a deep breath, and it's something that I've actually learned a little bit about here, and I was not expecting that. You can be young forever, for 100 years, 150 years. Oh, no, I don't years. want to be young for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you young, I'm not that interested in. <laughs> so standing or wherever you are? I just want to survive. <laughs> we'll be opening the arms, saying some positive affirmation out loud, and you will feel a release. We are connected to the universe! We are connected, connected to, to the, the universe. universe! We want to thank! We, we want, want to thank! We want to thank! Our father! Our, our father! Our mother! Our mother! Ex-wives! Ex-wives! Everyone! It's a great way to start the day, to open up the airways, because we're not used to making a lot of loud noise, so to do that is very freeing. I'm a happy soul. I'm a happy soul. I'm a happy soul. I'm a happy soul. Making a fool of yourself is always a good thing to do, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for making me a billionaire. <laughs> you can have a group hug, mm. if it is OK. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank Don't you. go kissing me, John. <laughs> I saw the kissing coming over. No way. <laughs> Thank you very much. As well as experiencing the spiritual side of life in northern India... I'm ready. Lovely. Let's go. Yeah. The group are keen to explore their new surroundings. John and Duncan are heading into the center of Rishikesh town. Right, should we go right, Duncan? Yes, yeah, so I'll go along here. To stock up on supplies. All right, stick together. We're done, sir. Good. Oh, yeah. Just don't get knocked down. No. Wow. One of the town's iconic landmarks is the Ram Jula, a 230-meter iron suspension bridge over the Ganges which connects the south side of the city with the north. You carry on. Yeah, there we go. This is not a pedestrian bridge then, Johnny. <laughs> God, this is chaotic, isn't it? Wow. 
you know, I've never seen a cow on the bridge before in my life. That's the first time. Very pleasant walk to work in the morning. Pretty impressive to be on the Ganges. <laughs> Amazing, man. Amazing. I've still got a huge zest for life. Being 67 now is not how I imagined it as an 18-year-old. I thought I'd be really grey, slumped in a chair, reading a book somewhere on the, on the south coast of England. But I feel I've got a lot more energy than I imagined all those years ago. And long may that continue. You really do see the whole of India on this bridge. It's incredible. <laughs> Never been on a bridge like it. <laughs> that was great. Oh, is this a chemist? Yeah. Anything you recognise? No. Oh, no. Well, you take a lot, John. I take garlic, cod liver oil, vitamin C, turmeric. Turmeric's a good one. Mm. What's this? Turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. Ninety rupees. I'll take two. But they got some potent stuff under the counter. I think John wants some Viagra as well. <laughs> Surely, got... <laughs> uh, we have natural things. There you go, John. Mm -hmm. Would like to see? I'm not joking. It's working. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Men's virility. 500, is it? Yeah. It's just about five pounds. I hope it works for you, John. It should get you through the Karma Sutra, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Right. Because you have to do two a day for 43 days. That's it. OK. <laughs> you have to do something, something like that, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I will be saying, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go on our adventure. Right, we're away. Fantastic. Susie and Barbara are also heading out for the day. I think we can enjoy the view now. We've done the scary trip. They're travelling 40 miles northwest to visit a famous Tibetan monastery. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. That's wonderful. For practising Buddhist Susie, it's a unique opportunity to learn more about her faith. I started chanting when I was 40, which is a fantastic way of dealing with problems. I stopped you know, being frightened of life. I can see um, a beautiful... Oh, see my goodness. giddy, look at that! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. So I would be interested to see historically where my faith began. One of the world's oldest religions, Buddhism originated in India around 2,500 years ago. Okie doke, thank you very much. Thank you very much before spreading throughout the rest of Asia. Hello, I'm Susie. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Hindoling Monastery. Yes. Was uh, built in 1965. Greeting Susie and Barbara is Tenkiab, the director of the Mindraling Monastery, who lives here along with 400 other monks. So very nice to see Thank you all. Thank you for having Thank us. You Thank you very much. Please welcome. Thank you. So we, I didn't know about this monastery. It's, you know, Mandolin is very much uh, special and unique. Yeah. Yes. Oh, isn't it beautiful? This is stupa. The stupa, or Buddhist shrine, rises 185 feet. It's huge. And houses sacred statues as well as hand-painted frescoes depicting teachings from Buddha. We have about 80 artists, and they work on this for five years. Amazing. Please come. I've never seen the Buddha statue before. <laughs> that is absolutely wonderful. Lovely face. Very good to see you. Yeah. Wonderful. Back in Rishikesh, Henry is also exploring an interest of his. OK, take a deep breath. A recent convert to alternative medicine. And exhale. He's booked himself an appointment with the Ayurvedic doctor from this morning's meditation session. OK, what is happening in the body? Um, my skin, I flaky skin on my head and sometimes on my feet. Well, you know... It's a lot of heaviness in your body, indigestion as well. A lot of what? Heaviness in the body. 
Uh, happiness. And, uh, happiness is definitely there. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important to give holiday to your tummy, sir. Right ho. You are interested to lose weight, sir? Yes, I am. I lose weight normally. For about four months a year, I don't drink um, alcohol. I drink quite a lot of alcohol otherwise, okay. and I enjoy it. And I have no intention of stopping. Um, <laughs> My doctor always says to me, look, take it easy. Or when people say, take it easy, I say, look, we don't know how any of us are going to die. If I could give up everything that I enjoy and you think is bad for me and live to 98, but my God, I'd be a bore. Dr. Raj is treating Henry's dry skin condition using Shiradhara, an ancient Ayurvedic therapy that uses warm herbal oils. So, Brother Henry, these herbs will be absorbed by the hair follicles and it will help to remove the dry skin. Henry, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling sort of lovely and relaxed and sleepy. Just keep enjoying the treatment. It's all yours. Mm. I think I enjoy life as much as ever. I suppose one is a whack that it can't go on forever and I'm getting very much to the end of it. So very slowly come up, sir. But one of the things I found that has helped me enormously in my life, and particularly getting older, is a sense of humor and the ability to have a bit of a chuckle with oneself. Well, I, I feel well oiled. Anything Again, else? one hug. You give about lots of like, uh, an, 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 oil, an, an oily <laughs> hug. Come on, please. I haven't been so well oiled for years. <laughs> <laughs> what could be better than that? Is that a shell? Is it a shell? Shell, shell. So this is very much uh, old uh, Tibetan tradition. Yes, yes. Saying, come, for the gathering. Oh, the yeah, they're waiting, coming you know? now. Yeah. At the Mindraling Monastery, one of the largest Buddhist centers in India, prayer ceremonies are held twice a day. So some of them are really quite young, aren't they? Monks as young as seven are educated in the ancient traditions of calligraphy, philosophy, and music. Oh, my goodness! For Buddhists, chanting is a form of meditation. It's a practice Susie has followed for almost 30 years. Buddhism has definitely changed me as a person. I'm not frightened of, of getting older anymore. And it's taught me to deal with situations in a more compassionate way. Also, having seen your parents go, and I looked after them both. A sad experience, of course, but my Buddhism helped to get me through that. So how was your experience? Very Having powerful. This kind of, you know, ritual. <laughs> it was very Buddhist powerful, music. as you say. Very powerful. I love the music. My Buddhism means a lot for me, and I've been chanting now for uh, 29 years. Um, I thought that was wonderful, yeah. I just want to say that actually the Buddhism is for, for peace, harmony, love, compassion. As long as we have these positive things in this world, then everybody can enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm very moved by it, it's true. Thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's no, good. She's it's good. Happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> we cry when no, we're happy, good. don't we? Sometimes, you know, even I am crying when something good is happening. Yes. yes. Yeah, really. Yes. That was wonderful. Sit where you like, Henry. Goodness. How oh, nice. 
dinner time at Shantam. I'm the filthiest eater you've probably ever met. How perfect. And a chance for the group to catch up on their day. Tell me all about the Tibetans, Susie. It was incredible. The man who showed us round said a lot of things which uh, resonated with me. I got a bit emotional about that. Well, my dear, I think, how lovely. What do you think that is? It looks to me like one <laughs> flake. Chickpeas. Um, Chickpeas. Try some. I'll be brave. What did you do? Um, put oil and cream all over Henry's head. Yeah, oh, he gave me about eight kisses, as he clearly fancied Oh, me. did he? Yes, yeah. he absolutely. Why did he put oil on your head? Because I've got tarsome skin. And how do you feel now? Really rather well splendid. <laughs> We've done a lot of extraordinary things for the first time here in India. I mean, it's one of the great experiences so far of my life, I think. Yeah, I mean, you name it, it was on the bridge, wasn't it? Motorbikes, bicycles. And people and cows. Cows go anywhere around here. The cows, and they're marvellous, aren't they? <laughs> if you said, come and do it again, I should simply say, could I have two days off to sleep, and then I'll willingly start again. I was very generous for a minute. Great. <laughs> Cheers, Susie. To everyone. Great fun. My dear old thing. <laughs> The senior citizens have only a couple of days left of their Indian adventure. At the moment, I'm looking at the side of the mountain and the leaves are being gently blown off the trees. I didn't think it would be so green. It's very lush uh, and the trees are full of monkeys. You get used to the strangeness of India and you wonder what you're going to see that you would never see at home. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, Britt, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Today, the group want to find out about the alternative retirement options on offer in this region. Are you prepared now for an adventure? Henry has decided to spend the night in a senior living community 40 miles northwest of Rishikesh. We'll see what happens. And he's asked a rather reluctant Brit to join him. If push comes to shove, would you ever go yourself into a retirement home? No. It is doubtful. It would be like going back to school, wouldn't it, in one's old age? Which I absolutely adore. I'm a very solitary person. I like my privacy. I enjoy being on my own. I'm actually not. I'm a people person. I've always liked to be with people. But as far as living in a retirement home, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. That was fun. My brother fun. Yes. Shit. Oh, my God. If we manage to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Spread over 14 acres, Antara is a luxury retirement development for wealthy Indians. Here we are. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? And currently home to almost 60 over 55s. Thank you. Very Welcome nice. to Antara. Very nice to be here. How lovely. So this is the uh, club area where uh, residents normally hang out together. Absolutely wonderful. Residents here have access to a host of on-site facilities, including a bar, gym and spa. What a fantastic place. But will the range of amenities on offer be enough to impress Brit? Oh, I can't. Oh, Ooh, lovely. I never sit in the front for security reasons. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. And particularly here That's in India, India. The chances of us crashing into a cow is very, very big. Yes. Apartments here are taken on a 60-year lease, with prices from just over £200,000. Up to £850,000 for a luxury three-bed apartment. A living area, kitchen, drawing, dining. Lovely. It's amazing, isn't it? Where can you charge your iPhone? All the switches are marked here. OK. The walls are rounded. They are not pointed. Good so thinking. that you cannot, do not hurt Good yourself. Good thinking. And then we have anti-skid floors completely for your 
But you do have a little ledge here. Um, I... We do have a little ledge here. Um... In Sweden, in the 50s, my grandparents retired to a place exactly like this. It's exactly that same image, just in India. And with less color. There is no color here. Everything is beige or gray or dark brown. So, no, I don't think it's for me. So this panic alarm button is a very unique feature. Any yeah. kind of emergency, yes. just press this button and there will be yes. someone at your doorstep within two minutes with a first aid and a fire extinguisher. Only a, a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit, yeah. but not large whiskey. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Yes. And so green. Lovely, isn't it? In Rishikesh, Susie and John are also exploring an alternative retirement option. They're staying the night at the Parmath Nikitan Ashram, which welcomes thousands of pilgrims from all over the world and has almost 200 permanent residents. If I was retiring in this country, I don't know if I could ever see myself being part of an ashram. But nevertheless, there'd be no point in going to India if I wasn't open to everything that it has to offer. And whatever I come into contact with, I'm hoping to embrace it. Welcome. Welcome to Parmarth Nikathan Ashram. Welcoming Susie and John is Californian-born Sadvi Sara, who made the ashram her home 23 years ago. We are, are so, so happy to welcome you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. She's arranged for Manda, a volunteer from London, to show them around the holy site. Beautiful garden. If you look at these oh, two wow. trees, they are amazingly old. Yes, yeah, wonderful things, trees. People actually pray to these trees. They put the sacred thread around right. as a sign of auspiciousness. Pilgrims come to this retreat to seek inner wisdom through meditation, yoga, and prayers. I'll show you around here. I'm quite spiritual. I'm always seeking greater knowledge. I hope being in this great spiritual heartland in the foothills of the Himalayas will um, give me some great pearls of wisdom. This is the Ganga. What does Ganga mean? Ganga is Ganges. the river, is the Ganges. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the, 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 the Indian the... name. So, um, yeah. Having recovered from a slightly upset tummy this morning, <laughs> Paul has decided to join Britt and Henry for a night at the retirement home. Oh, very posh. First impressions of this place is fantastic. Beautiful. That is really five-star class. Uh, I tell you, I'm going to go around and take some photographs and send them to Sue, cos Sue is going to love this place. It is absolutely superb, I'll tell you now. Ah! This is the life. What would be important to me uh, in the retirement home? Um, a TV, for certain. Ooh, Premier League. I do like to watch the telly. I'll give you that. What more does a man need? My dear Oving, hello. Hey up. I want a large a double measure of black label. Ah, fantastic. Paul and Henry are taking advantage of the chauffeur-driven golf buggy service. Are you our driver? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Provided to all the residents here. Gardens are well kept, very well. Lovely. Antara is basically this idea that life can be beautiful post-55. Yeah, sure. And yeah, so we are so. taking care of all you know, aspects of... What about medical side of it? We have resident doctors. All included? All included in there. Wonderful. It's getting better and better. As well as medical care for residents, Antara also holds social events <laughs> and keep fit classes. Oh, my goodness. All included in the cost. I think you've got a most lovely complex here. I really do. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Well, here we are. Yeah. Now. Absolutely fantastic. Ooh. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. 
It's uh, bar time. Let's go and sit by the window, shall we? Yeah, sure. You're very good health, old friend. And you, sir. There you go. And Cheers, here's sir. to meeting each other. Yes. Paul Chuckle. I've come very fond of Paul. I think we both laugh at the same things. He's great fun. We have great sort of whiskey drinking competitions. You'll have to come and see me work somewhere. I will. I want to very much. Yeah. I think he's a dear, dear man. And we've already agreed we're going to meet up at home, which is lovely, you know. And um, I, I love it when, when we go anywhere together. Terrific fun. Make sure we keep in touch. And next year's to many, many more. Back at the ashram. It's actually perfect timing you've arrived. Susie and John have been granted an audience with its renowned leader, Pooja Swami Ji. Can we follow you in? Uh, yes, come. He's one of the most revered living saints in India. Oh, Welcome home. How are you? Very, very pleased to meet you. This is Susie and John. Wonderful. Who just saw me to this. Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome home. What a lovely thing to say. Wonderful. When anybody looks into your eyes and holds your hand for any length of time, you can't help but be affected by it. I was embarrassed. Thank you so much. Oh. So, have you always been in this ashram? When I was eight, got the divine touch. And after several years, I was brought into this ashram. And a lot of meditation, a lot of... In, in the beginning, yes, a yes. lot of meditation. And then life becomes meditation. That's because amazing. meditation is not what you do. Meditation is what you are. That every minute becomes meditation. Mm. Every second, yeah? A conscious living. Mm. I had preconceived ideas about what a guru would be like. I was expecting somebody to say to me, oh, I see a gold aura around you. But I felt the warmth and the sincerity of it. I really did. By the way, Prince Charles, hmm. when he came here, he loved it. Camilla and uh, Prince Charles, hmm. both, hmm. they were so, so happy. Yeah. It was so wonderful to have him home. <laughs> Swami G and Sadvi have invited Susie and John to a ceremony on the banks of the Ganges. I feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. This 1600 mile waterway is considered sacred in Hindu culture. And every night, hundreds of people gather to pray and sing religious songs believed to purify the worshipper of negative energy. It is the time we gather together with our global family of every color, of every culture, any race, any religion, it doesn't matter. Today we have with us Susie Blake and John Altman, we're so happy to welcome you this evening. And I'll ask Pooja Swamiji to bless them with our tree saplings. Go up to him, he'll give it to you. As well as being the spiritual head of the ashram, Swamiji is also passionate about protecting the environment. We must protect Mother Nature. Raise our hands in a pledge. We will do whatever we can to preserve Mother Earth and all of our global family with whom we share it. Thank you.
I can see absolutely why people would come here. It's saving the planet through planting trees. Uh, it, there's nothing you can disagree with, really. Well, I've just experienced incredible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I felt at home. It was beautiful. To start with, I was skeptical. But now, I can completely understand why this has got such a force behind it, and it should have. It's a force for good. Very good health. Enjoy your best of health for you. Thank for you. Having a great stay. At the retirement village, Brit, Paul and Henry are joining the residents in the clubhouse for their regular evening card game. Now, how long have you all been here? All of us have been here. And you love it? I love it here. For and how much of the year do you spend here? Are you here all the time? Yeah, we are settlers here. And those who stay here as a permanent home, they are called settlers. Those who come for some time and go away, we call them floaters. Flo floaters? <laughs> well, I know what you mean. I've got several floaters in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so what is it that you love about this place? The best thing is togetherness. We are running here, running there, yeah. meeting here, yeah. going on excursions. It's like the time just flies. But I think to live here, you have to have a partner. Your husband? No, I've had three children by three separate men. Two husbands and one non-husband. Oh. Just partner. For you to get no. partner is no problem. Here. If I came in... <laughs> you are maintaining three. Why not to have fourth one? <laughs> that will never happen. Never. To live in a community like this, I would be asked a lot of questions. I'm a solitary person. This, this is my ultimate hell. I am horrified by the thought of ending up here. Do you think I should come and live here with my wife? I'd rather live here than anywhere else. You know where yeah, I can see that. I mean, this is a beautiful place to retire this. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the only retirement home I've ever seen that I would consider coming to live in is where you are now. Oh, I think <laughs> As long as you're all here. Yeah. I think this is the best part of our life we are leaving. You've got a bit of a glint in your eye. What about the pretty girls here now? The next time when you come, do bring some. I will bring it. Well, He's in trouble, real trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific fun. I, I met lots of very amusing people. And it was lovely that that it, this place should be so perfect for them. It'd be hard to dream of a better retirement facility than this one. What, what fun to meet you. What is next to Andy, welcome to Ankara. Anytime. Marvellous. <laughs> it's the final day of the group's Indian adventure and as dawn breaks on the banks of the Ganges, at the ashram, Susie is up early. I think I've had a progression. I think I'm more comfortable in voicing my thoughts than I thought I could ever be, really. I do feel more at home with myself, and I think India's played a big part, no question about that. I hope it's made me a braver person. I hope it's made me um, sort of less self-conscious, really, less people-pleasing. Though I don't want to be unkind to anybody, but I'd like to be honest. Isn't this just extraordinary? I can't really find the words to describe it. You can't go much closer to heaven than this. I mean, there we are, the Himalayas. I never thought I'd ever see them, let alone having coffee alongside them. I mean, they're like old mates now. At the retirement village, not all the senior citizens are enjoying their new surroundings. 
Oh, Britt, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Did you sleep well? No, I had mm. nightmares that you'd all left, and this is my life. This is what I was going to be doing until it's time to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, dear. In an attempt to win Brit round to the advantages of Antara... I think, you know, if one came, you'd discover quite a lot of things that would be of interest. So, where do I go? This Henry has booked them both into the on-site spa. My big toe is going to give you great problems, but there we are. ..for a pedicure. Mm, very nice. Oh, yes. Mm. I love the foot bath. It's very, very bichu, as we say. <laughs> Being a lady and a beautiful lady, you obviously go lots and have things done. Being a rather ugly man, I'm afraid I go much fewer times than I should have my feet and hands attended to. I try to go um, for a pedicure in LA every two weeks. You know, I think, what the hell, waste of money. I think Brit is absolutely fascinating. I mean, let's face it, Brit at her height was a tremendous sex symbol. And now when you're getting on in life, and you've been a sex symbol, it must be jolly difficult to sort of carry it on. In her case, I think she looks amazingly good. It's lovely, isn't it? What colour are you going to have on your toes? Do you think orange? Oh, no, Henry. No? Too common. Oh, is it? Everyone in the 50s... Oh, did they? ..used orange. No, no, no. One of the strange things about my feet, I've had no feeling in my feet for years. Shall I tell you how it started? <laughs> I like to listen to short spurts of Henry's stories. It was a progressive thing that you oh, never okay. actually took any notice of. You know, his job is to talk and talk and talk. The only boring thing is when I go to the loo in the night... Can you give me the short version? And he'd say, no, no, no dear old thing, no, medium version, no, dear old thing. I sometimes kick my little toe yeah. on the bedpost and I wake up in the morning and find the sheets covered in blood, and I felt nothing, really. I think he probably hides behind his stories and his speech pattern. But he's very sweet and a little bit vulnerable, as I think quite a few of the people here are. And I suggest you get a lot of foam rubber and foam rubber all your furniture in your bedroom. That way you won't knock your feet. <laughs> Ooh, there we are. Finished. Oh, lovely. <sighs> My dear old thing, thank you very much for allowing me to bore you. <laughs> no, you don't always bore me. Not right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Namaste. Keen to make the most of the time he has left in the yoga capital of the world. Through here. Keep Fit Enthusiast Duncan has come to the Patanjala Yoga Centre in Rishikesh town. I'm Duncan. He's booked himself an advanced masterclass with Usha. You have no high blood pressure, something no. like that? No. Not? OK. One of the region's leading teachers. Let us start. Come up to Adamukha Svanasana. See that your palms are open. Spread the fingers completely. I've always been competitive with myself, I think, but especially in yoga. I really want to do more in yoga. Look here. More and more, yes. You have to become taller and taller, taller and taller. I want to stretch further. I want to be able to throw my feet over the, my head and put them on the floor and things like that. And then release. So I'll come up. So let us go to the ropes. We can do here. To help Duncan achieve some of the more challenging Thank poses, you. Usha is using ropes and blocks to ensure his posture is correctly aligned. Now move this in, move this in, chest forwards, chest forwards. Hey, come on, do! Why so many are bending the knees? What is happening? Just go, come on, yes, go. Head down, head down, yes, hold your ankles, but keep the knees straight, good. OK, inhale and come up. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much blood rushing to my head, I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, very good. OK, now prepare for headstand. Come on, everybody. Come on, quickly go. Come on. The headstand, referred to as the king of all yoga poses... Good. ..can take years to perfect. Lift your head up, yes, the chest head. For 70-year-old Duncan, who's only been practising yoga for 18 months, now can you go, walk in? It's a pose he's keen to master. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, come on. And now lift his armpits up. Really extend the legs upwards. Come on, up, 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 up. Yes, come on, can you see? Pay, keep your face quiet. Mouth quiet, everything quiet. Can you want to stay for a little time like this? Yes? No, this will do me, I think. Happy to come down. OK, then everybody can come down. But just stay for a moment. OK. OK? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to a certain age, you, know, you don't want to sit on the couch watching television all day because you'll get older. That's it. Yes. Now sit back. Yes, 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 and feet, feet, all of the feet together. together. Yes. I would rather have another ten years of exciting life like this than thirty years of mediocre life. Okay, one minute more. So, quality of life is more important than length of life for me now. Okay, come on, then bring him down. Yep, just press the feet. <laughs> yeah. How it feels? Huh? Good. I've never done that before. Yes, you might not have done many things before. <laughs> I'm going to do that more often. Thank you very much indeed. Whew. Great teacher. And it's a privilege to have been taught by her. And I'm touching my toes for the first time in my life, you know, which is really good. And I'm going to become more and more flexible. OK, can I have a hug? OK. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Thanks thank a lot. You, thank You're lovely. You. Wonderful. Thank you. I wish you were Sorry. where I live now. It comes to you every day. <laughs> I'll ask you what you're into doing. Yeah, hang on, let me do this. Cute. Such a gentle. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. You're coming in. I am. For their last evening in Rishikesh, the group will head to the banks of the Ganges to take part in a famous Hindu prayer ceremony. Any of these hot, then? No. Paul likes hot, but he doesn't like no. spicy. Yeah. Oh, it's Duncan. So people can help themselves. Yes. But first, they're sitting down to share their final meal together. Um, this is... Very spicy, may I tell you. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh, my God. That is just too hot for me. Get some bubbly down, yeah. Have some water. Oh, at least I'm at home, so I know where I can go later. <laughs> I can't believe it's our last night altogether. No, I can honestly say I've, I've enjoyed every minute with you guys. Oh, oh me too. I hope you're all going to keep in touch, you know. Oh, yeah, must do. Oh, well. Absolutely. Brit has already invited me to come and stay with her in Los oh. Angeles. Paul, yeah, he's invited me to Doncaster. I have, yes. Yeah. Any time they want, mate. Duncan Bannatyne, now there's a guy. I would have been surprised at the time if you'd have said Duncan and I were going to be busies. That was your best day today, of the whole thing. Well, my best day was the first day when I met you, darling. Yeah, exactly, mate. Right. <laughs> but once I got to know him, not surprised at all, because he's on the same sort of wavelength as I am. And we just hit it off. And you're all invited to Portugal, all of you. Yeah. Susie and I aren't far from each other. I could row down the river to see her. <laughs> if it hadn't been for all of you, I would have fallen apart, you know? We haven't noticed. No, I'm a very, very good actress. <laughs> we got to know each other, and it turned into a true friendship and, and true connections. So having them with me has meant the world to me. I couldn't have done it without them. And can I say thank you to all of you for being such great companions? I've made some great friends in this group, but if I had one complaint, there's too much raucous laughter at breakfast. <laughs> My little grey cells, as Hercule Poirot would say, move extremely slowly in the morning. <laughs> to say goodbye to India, the group are heading to Triveni Ghat, one of the most revered and sacred places in Rishikesh. Here we are. <laughs> that magnificent yeah. seven, yeah. <laughs> Hindu priests called sadhus line the banks every night, blessing the pilgrims who come from all over the world to take part in this religious ceremony. I don't want to fall in now. You have some wish in your mind. Thank you. Keep that, oh, yeah. and then we are praying to Ganga to keep uh, to fulfill our wishes. <laughs> For Hindus, rituals performed at the banks of the Ganges are believed to bring good fortune. Rishikesh 
is a very beautiful place to be. I have felt the atmosphere and the spirituality of, of the place. And you can see why people get drawn into it. If you're in the Ganges, who'd have thought? I've been all over the world, but I had no idea what to expect from India. However, I feel I have taken part in a lot of deep Indian culture. And I think this trip has enriched me enormously. He was very spiritual yes. and a very attractive young man. As night falls, oil lamps are lit and the Hindu priests perform a ceremony called Aarti, expressing love and gratitude to God. This is really fantastic. India is utterly unlike anywhere else I've ever been. It's been a fundamentally profound experience on every kind of level. I couldn't have think of anything better at this time in my life. And now I'm going to move on with greater strength, I think, and take many things home with me. We've all been surprised at how India's definitely got under our skin. It's been an amazing evening. Great way to say goodbye. But it's been enough of a wonderful experience for me to want to come back. I don't think I've been anywhere else in the world like it. It is, India, a kaleidoscope of the whole of life. What an incredible end to our adventure.